And that's why I decided to join hands with those Kenyans outside to speak the same language and also to, to start a new phase of Kenyan politics. Can you tell us what role you have played in uh, terms of struggle when you are away? Yes. What, what is it you have done? I mean, uh, uh, I've been, I've, I think I'm one of those Kenyans who have felt so much cold outside because of the protests that we carried in number 10 Downing Street. We have fought, we have lobbied the, US, the British government by that particular time. I personally, when I was at, at the University of London uh, School of Oriental and African Studies doing my master's and as a student leader, I was instrumental in bringing in Koigi Wamwere, Dennis Akumu, I mean Honorable Dennis Akumu, uh, Dr. Liki, Professor Wangari Madai at SOAS to speak and to tell the world from inside on what was go happening in this country. We have also, we, we, I also joined the protests. That's what you mean, School of Oriental and African Studies. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. So I also joined other <coughs> like-minded Kenyans, like Bamtum Swale, uh, Honorable um, Wanyiri Kehoro, who, pay, who played a, a very big role, Ablatif. Um, Ablatif of Abdallah. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, um, uh, um, Salam, Zahur Msalam from the coast and the coastal community, members of the coastal community that had come in the UK because of what had happened to Sheikh Balala. So we did a lot of protests and uh, we became known as the enemies of the state. And that's why the government of President Moy was on our heels there worse than even here. So we've done a lot 